All right, Star Wars fans, I'm doing another video today, and the news still isn't good. Any news that we get now from Lucasfilm, or from Disney, or from Star Wars itself, or from StarWars.com, it always is negative. And today, it's just as bad. We've got an article today that has actually come from Screen Rant. And hold on to your horses, guys, because I'm going to link a description, put the link to the actual article in the description for you guys. But this isn't good. Um, let me go over this article with you guys, and then I'll give my thoughts on this article. And I want you guys to actually tell me in the comments how you actually feel about this, because this is getting old. Um, everything that Disney is disinfying Star Wars with, I'm, I'm sick of. Now, um, like I said, this is an article put out by Screen Rant, and let me go over this with you. Um, Star Wars is trying to turn Darth Vader into an anti-hero. And yes, that's very, very bad. Anyways, here's the article, guys. Star Wars is trying to turn Darth Vader... Dark Lord of the Sith, an agent of evil, into an anti-hero. There are few movie villains widely known and feared as Darth Vader. From the first walking through the blasted door of the blockade runner in 1977 Star Wars to hacking down rebels in a fight to get to the same ship in 2016's Rogue One, a Star Wars story, that imposing face mask rasping breath and booming James Earl Jones voice have painted a powerful calculating figure one that strikes fear regardless of which galaxy you live in even though he was eventually redeemed by his son and returned the Jedi and the prequel trilogy detailed his tragic fall few would ever debate that he's an out and out villainous character. Amen. One group who would, it seems, is Lucasfilm themselves. In a press release for upcoming comic-run Star Wars Vader Dark Visions, the StarWars.com site describes the titular character as the mysterious anti-hero known as Darth Vader. Now, granted, this is in the context of a story that aims to present the character from distant perspectives of those not knowing his true nature, let alone his past. However, that goal still leaves one big thing clear. Star Wars wants you to think of Darth Vader as an anti-hero. Here we go, guys. This is as wrong as it is bizarre. And while it could end up being an isolated incident, feels like part of a bigger shift for the character, for Star Wars, and for our culture's relationship with villainary in general. Now, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I'm, I'm, like I said, if you want to read the rest of the article, I'm going to link it, you know, in the description for um, everyone to be able to go in there and read it for themselves. But what do I think about this? I think this is the biggest bunch of horse crap that I've ever heard. Vader is probably the most famous villain of all time. James Earl Jones, you know, he voiced him to perfection. And when Vader came on the screen, he demanded respect. He was dark. He was mysterious. And you knew that he was truly evil up until the time that Luke Skywalker redeemed him. Why does Disney want to turn around and change everything that we love and take for granted with all of our OT characters? We see what they've done with Han. We see what they've done with Leia. And sure in hell we see what they've done with Luke Skywalker. So this this is maddening. I mean, we we we've got a deadbeat dad flying around in the galaxy as Han Solo. Um, you know, he abandons his son and lets him run off and 
become a dark Jedi, you know, a little um, beta male that, you know, when he doesn't get his way, he, he has a tantrum. We have Leia Organa, you know, Princess Leia, and there's rumors that um, Leia was supposed to be having an affair with um, Admiral Genderstones. Come on, guys. Really? And then the greatest mistake ever in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker. Instead of getting Grandmaster um, Luke Skywalker, which we should have, you know, with them actually teaming Luke Skywalker up with Han Solo and Leia for, you know, the send-off of the trilogy, we get a blue titty milk I mean, excuse me, green titty milk drinking hermit of a crab that has now become a ha um that has now become a coward, doesn't want anything to do with the fighting of the resistance, refuses to train Ray, and it's it's Jake Skywalker all over again. But now they want to pervert Darth Vader. I, I want to know what you think about this in the comments, everyone, because this is something I we we need to scream and we need to scream loud. Darth Vader was never an anti-hero. Darth Vader slaughtered Jedi. Darth Vader slaughtered his own men. Um, his own men loved him because he would actually jump in the fight with them. But if they betrayed him, Darth Vader had no problem slaughtering his own men. He was the epitome of what a villain should be. And now, Disney wants to turn him into an anti-hero. What the hell? What the hell? So, you know, like I said, any news coming from Disney now related to Star Wars is bad news. I mean, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. You know, we, we think we're winning on the front, you know, with the Phantom Menace. I, I think we need to start screaming louder because someone over there at Lucasfilm has no idea what they're doing, what they're thinking. You know, I don't know, you know, if this would be, you know, all the way up on the level of Kathleen Kennedy, you know, decisions she's making, or if this is actual decisions from Bob Iger, or even from J.J. himself, or... Because someone has to um, be giving creative control to these people writing comics and writing novels. And if they're saying this stuff is actually canon, someone, these people have to answer to someone. So who are they actually answering to? That's what I want to know. Are they answering to Kathleen Kennedy since she's been quiet now for the past year? No one has heard a peep out of Kathleen Kennedy. So... Please, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have any good ideas for what we can do to actually start getting Star Wars, because I'm ready to just throw a fit, um, let me know. And with that being said, guys, if you like what you see, please sub to the channel, hit that notification bell, and see my future content when it comes out. Anyways, guys, this is Star Wars Dad, and I'm out for today.